ready! If we're breaking the rules, then... Too many places. Alice, let's carry on pressing the issue. And when the Europeans were done ruining their continent with bland food and soccer riots and arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole. And at my weekly meeting, my congregation has a potluck. You see, a casserole is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and bake it, somebody will probably eat it. It's like my book. You believe in your favorite sports team, then they get massacred. You believe in gravity, then it turns upside down on you. You love your favorite TV show, then the network ends it with a lousy finale. But you can believe in me, and if you believe in something, support it. It's one thing to love something, but if you don't shower it with money, then just don't talk to me. Communism, don't make me puke my guts out, please. Well, I... Hey Mario.
tell you, I must be having a bad hair day today. I mean, I live the life of a rock and roll DJ 24-7. So sometimes I'm not looking all that great and wake up in weird places, but I always look moody. So anyway, today, check this out. I got turned down for a date by a waitress. Stay away from me! In this disaster situation, or the jungle of your backyard. It comes complete with fishing line, needle and thread for sewing gashes back together, and an incredibly useful and durable... Building your own hut, toilet paper, and a fold-out woman for company, as well as a serrated blade that can kill a man before he can scream. The Exploder Survival. It's the knife that saved America. Now it can save you. This knife killed 25,000 people in Cambodia. Now you can too. Be sure to stop by and complete the look to shop with yourself a B-Rock Vulture t-shirt makes kick ass. Alright, going to the phones, who's this? Yo, man, Snow Dog. Snow Dog? What kind of name is that? Yo, you're my name. I mean, it's just kind of weird, I mean, especially since there's no snow in Vice City. Anyway, what are you doing out there? Down, like, 